Laura. It is a gorgeous day. Weather is beautiful. I think it's time to go on a neighborhood tour in Columbus. Yeah, let's check out some mansions. We're talking even the governor's mansion. Flip it around, let's show them this one. And even one of the world's oldest independent theaters, the Drexel, we're talking Bexley. Let's go. Let's go. Let's check out Central Ohio. Explore the city. We'll help you discover the glory and we'll reveal the nitty gritty. You're joining Laura and Melissa. Hi, I'm Laura. And I'm Melissa. And we are in Bexley, Ohio. We love Central Ohio and we love making these videos for you guys to check out. You might also know we are licensed realtors in Ohio. Yes, we are. We love making these videos for you. So please hit the subscribe button. Give us some comments. Let us know what you want to see about Columbus because um, we love putting these together for you. And if you want to know what it's like to work, live, play and raise a family in Columbus, you'll want to see our videos. For sure. Now back to Bexley. If you're not from here, let's take a quick look at a map so you can get an idea for exactly where we are. Bexley stands just a little over three miles from downtown. Yes, it's just east of downtown and it's very close to um, downtown if you work there or Nationwide Children's. Um, there's a, actually a Capital University here too. So it's very convenient to a lot of places. Yeah, and really it's a tight knit community. It sits right along the Alum Creek. Hey guys, so we are at Jeffrey Mansion. Um, beautiful place, beautiful park. Um, it was built in the 19, 1903? 1903. 1903 by uh, Robert Jeffrey, and he was the mayor of the city at the time. Very interesting guy. He decided to give this back to the public. So actually this is used by everyone in the community. They have proms here, weddings, photo shoots. It's used for a lot of things. Right now there's actually a field trip moving through it and enjoying it. So it's kind of neat, a special way of giving back to the Bexley community. And this mansion, well, it sits in what I would call a mansion garden. <laughs> all That's around true. here are very impressive estates and not far from here at all is actually the governor's mansion yes so we're gonna tour um bexley and the homes here we're gonna start in the north and kind of go south so you can kind of see the different homes um the prices range drastically um so when i looked at the the comps for um the recent months they range from like 500,000 to 750,000 for like the median home price so um, or I should say the average home price. So very big range um, here in Bexley. So we'll kind of give you a look at that. So in other words, no matter what kind of property you're interested in, there is such a range here in Bexley that we can help you check out something that might work. Waving 
Hi, we are along East Main Street now. Yes, the main hub of Bexley. A lot of places to shop, to eat here, and entertainment too. We're actually gonna show you just behind us is Bexley Square, but in front of us is the Drexel Theater. And of course, off to the side is that motorcycle you like right here. <laughs> um, but the Drexel Theater is really cool, Melissa. Yeah, it was, um, I think originally like a supermarket or something before it became um, a movie theater. Yeah, Christmas Day, 1937, this opened up. This was a wonderful place for many years, but then it fell on hard times. And somewhat recently, friends of the Drexel, as well as um, the uh, Columbus Foundation, and even Josh Radner, um, a very well-known actor, you might know him from How I Met Your Mother, um, several people came together and really brought this back to life, restored it, replenished it, and now it's a thriving piece of this community again. And it's also part of the National Historic Registry. Very cool, yeah, I know they kind of show independent films here. So we'll keep walking here and yeah. we'll turn the camera around. Yeah, because you're gonna wanna see these cute little shops. Again, we're on East Main Street and there's cute um, cafes, coffee shops, shopping places that you can duck into. Um, this is a little kitchen spot. The next place you'll see is a Be Well studio in case you wanna do some yoga and, and think about your fitness. Um, and then up ahead is a really well-known local spot where um, they're known for really awesome dinners. Oh, Giuseppe's, is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Yes. And then after you have dinner, you gotta have a little sweet tooth fix. So of course across <laughs> the street is Graders. You know, I feel like we have a theme. We have a Buckeye <laughs> theme and we have an ice cream theme in all of our videos. I guess Columbus likes ice cream, right? Yes, <laughs> and there's another really long time, well-known family owned um, ice cream shop just up the street too. But let's look across the street because Melissa, when I think about Bexley and how it got started, Capital University was central to the, the history of this city. All right, so we're crossing East Main Street and Drexel Avenue, and this is sort of your welcome to Capital University. And they're giving a tour here too today. The gate here is so gorgeous. It says chartered in 1850, and that's really neat. It was founded in 1830, but incorporated in 1850. And, you know, it looks like we're checking out some students who are thinking about coming here. So Laura, I recently came to Capitol University for my son's violin concert. So they hosted it here. Um, how did it go? Oh, it was fun. It was, it was very nice. It was actually the first time to get together in a couple years since, of course, the pandemic. When I think of Capital University, I do think of that music, creativity, innovation. Um, it's just uh, one of those schools that is known for being the hub of a lot of things that, that are created. Bexley kind of has that theme as a whole. Um, Melissa, did you know that um, one of the key doctors in modern research for cancer came from Bexley right here? You would think I should know that since I <laughs> was a nurse practitioner in, in that realm as well, but I did not know that. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, the thing that caught my attention, he was curious and he loved science from a young age and he actually used his little sister's um, oven. You know how we play with those little ovens and yeah, things easy when we're bake. young? Yeah, <laughs> he used that to keep the heart of a rabbit, I believe it was, alive outside of the body. He used other apparatus and just showed that the blood is crucial. And that was part of some of his early um, experimentation with cancer research. His theory was cancer requires blood. And so, you know, taking a closer look at how you take that blood lifeline away from any tumor can really impact a person's um, outcome. Huh. Did not know that. Thank you, Laura, for that little <laughs> history lesson. <laughs> From Bexley. <laughs> okay, the flowers are gorgeous. I love that. There's like a tree inside. Flowers and trees are another 
trademark of Bexley. And you don't have to take our opinion of it. It actually has the designation as a city that is also an arboretum. And it is the only city on the globe that I know that has achieved that designation. It's kind of a, um, a bragging point for a lot of the residents here. So when you look around, you'll see many, many trees, a part of the architecture, a part of people's homes, the universities, the schools, and they really celebrate it. I mean, at the base of this tree, I even see a plaque that lets you know, you know, what it's dedicated to and likely what kind it is. You see that throughout Bexley. Well, and as you saw through our driving tour of some of the homes, it's just gorgeous. Like, it's like a walk in the park, literally. I, I just want to get out and check it all out on foot. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of parks and all the beauty and nature around in Bexley, the other thing we have to talk about is Franklin Park Conservatory. Oh, it's so beautiful. It is really, really gorgeous. We're talking acres and acres of every plant, tree, flower that you can imagine. Yes, yeah, so and not only that, but they have, you know, parks. They have a whole area for children. Um, and then you go inside and there's art, um, art by Chihuly, I believe is his name, um, beautiful glass art. Yeah, tricky name, but we saw that exhibit and it will come back again. It is amazing. It is just breathtaking. Really every season they have something. I know um, in the summer there are, there was a display the one year of like literally a rainbow of flowers. Oh, it was gorgeous. It. In the fall. In the winter. Oh, sorry. Don't skip fall. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> one of my favorites. <laughs> in fall. I have not been there, but I've seen pictures. They have like gourds and pumpkins um, all on display and, you know, sculptures, basically. I didn't make it to that display, but we went in the winter around Christmas time. And I mean, just the start of how impressive it was, these immensely huge poinsettias that made a Christmas tree. And then you step outside and it's snowing and there's Christmas lights it's all set up. It was gorgeous. just gorgeous. And they also, um, during that time, they have a gingerbread contest too. So that's fun to, to go around and see the creativity that's there um, with that. They hold a lot of events and you can imagine the desire to host something there because you have this canvas that's just mm -hmm. beauty. Yeah, just you, beauty. you have to do no decorations. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's all very well manicured and just gorgeous. So, so so talking about Bexley and community, a um, couple fun things I learned about over the past year was one of the houses has an amazing Halloween display. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to have to check that out one of these years. And then um, they have a porch festival where some of the neighbors will basically rent out their porch and they have live music. And so just a way really to get to know your neighbors and, you know, a sense of community. They have the main event, which is on Main Street, thus the name. It's a great family event, live music. They have shows, they have crafts for the kiddos and you don't have to worry about making your kitchen all dirty. They have food <laughs> trucks. So that's always a plus like in my family. <laughs> that's right. Uh, a lot of examples here of how people come together and just do things to celebrate the little moments of life. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our tour of Bexley. We love making these videos for you. So please hit the subscribe button, smash that bell so you can be notified the next time we make a new video for you. Yeah, and if you don't mind, leave us a comment. We just love hearing what you're thinking as you see our videos. And we've gotten quite a few suggestions on videos you'd like to see in the future. We definitely take that into account. For sure. Um, and sometimes, this has already happened, it changes our order because we'll get a specific request from someone about a topic we were in the planning stage of anyway and then we'll bump it up so that we can bring it to you a little sooner so it gives you a little power you're in the driver's seat on this journey with us to explore all of central ohio that's right and if you want to leave um, us a message we do have a joint email account mm -hmm. it's live in columbus oh at gmail.com we can't wait to hear from you bye bye <laughs>